I want to talk about Charlie Strong. Talk about a guy who paid his dues, and I think the Burles Award has changed the way programs look at assistant coaches. Uh, Charlie Strong should have been a head coach uh, nine or ten years before he got the call. Well, you know, he was a three-time Burles Award finalist, two with different teams, South Carolina you know, and Florida. He wow. coached under Lou Holtz. Uh, Steve Spurrier, Urban Meyer, just to name a few. And so he paid his dues, you know. He, he waited patiently. That's right. Got the Louisville job and immediately had an impact. And Bobby Petrino is winning with his players now. I think he's going to do a, a great job for Texas. Boy, and he has simply loved in Arkansas. He's a small-town success story. And Kyle Deckelbaum did a great job tracing his roots in the state of Arkansas. And this story will show you that Charlie Strong is Arkansas Strong. This will be the first time I will be rooting against the Razorbacks. There is no doubt Charlie Strong's Arkansas roots run deep. And this is where the long journey started for the Longhorns head coach. I'm standing at the former site of a shotgun house here in Batesville, Arkansas. Strong is one of eight kids and he shared that house with 19 others. He lived with his aunt who helped raise him in Cardia Ramey. And he was also raised by a neighbor who lived just down the street in Pearl Fleming. It wasn't easy for his mother. You know, just like me, we lived on welfare. I cleaned three houses a, a day, you know, to survive. But Charlie helped his mother. He worked for his uncle at this former gas station. Charlie was the type of person, he never did get out in the street. He never did get in trouble. He always had his head in a book. He was very solemn, straightforward. He made kids mind. They wasn't afraid of him, but when he spoke, they listened. You never did see him angry. We knew that he was going to be great. We knew that. I thought he was going to be a freak instead of a football coach. Could you imagine him being a football coach? No. When he wasn't at this Baptist church, working at the gas station, or studying at home, Charlie was building himself into a standout football player at Batesville High. He was a good player. He was. Very good. We see a frown on his face sometimes, especially if he missed a ball. <laughs> but it was fun watching him. He's fast and he, and he played both ways. But the college offers weren't there. Baseball didn't have an outstanding record at all, so I think that hurt. He was small. But he, he, he grew up after he got here and got to be pretty good size. Ken Stevens recruited him to UCA. He had to walk on. It's tough. A lot of times they, they walk on, they may have to pay their way for a year or two. This photo has Ken Stevens posing with a group of seniors. There's Charlie Strong, front left. They look a lot younger now. <laughs> Former center Brooks Hollingsworth played with Charlie Strong at UCA. Bon Edwards. Amazing, you know, just flashbacks. Richard Martin coached him in football and in track. He still looked the same, but he's just a little, he was just, he just a little muscular and a little bigger. He was a uh, self-motivator. That was the whole key to him. I mean, when the other guys were going out, he was he was actually studying. He was a hardworking guy, very intelligent young man. Uh, yes sir, no sir. When you talk to him, you, you swear he's looking right straight through you. Charlie started his career as a running back, but it wasn't until he moved to defensive back when his career took off and he earned a scholarship. My fond memory of him Probably, I think he was playing Southeast Missouri, and they was going in to win the game. If they scored, they win the game. And he intercepted and took it all the way. Well, 100 yard interception, and we ended up winning the game. He's one of a kind. He was coaching back then. He would push other guys to come up to the level that he was at. But a college coach? I always told him, I was like, hey, you too, you too smart to be. Uh, a coach. I was like, it ain't no money in coaching. Charlie took Richard's advice and went to Henderson State to get his master's. Maybe coach high school. But he wasn't in Arkadelphia very long. It's amusing and it, I think it's more profound than funny. Charlie spent only around a month at Henderson State, but it was a big one. Here's Coach Carpenter. That's me with some hair. George Baker coached at Henderson under the legendary Ralph Sporty Carpenter. If he hadn't met Coach Carpenter, I don't know what would happen to him. Sporty changed Charlie's life forever. Charlie was here and he had already was impressed with him. Coach Carpenter pulled up in his pickup and he said, hey Charlie, pack your bags, you're going to Florida. And Charlie said, Coach, I ain't never been out of Arkansas. 
He said, it don't make no difference. He said, I got you a GA at Florida. And that was it. Off went Charlie, thanks to one month at Henderson State. The stop here, probably the, the, it was probably the most fortunate stop in his career. From a graduate assistant at Florida, Charlie made eight more moves before getting his first head coaching gig at Louisville, 27 years after leaving Henderson State. Then this year, the Batesville native named head coach of the Texas Longhorns. Batesville celebrated. Batesville celebrated. I was so glad for him because he had really, really tried. That's amazing. It really didn't surprise me. I thought they're, about, they're getting a good coach. To see someone in Batesville, Arkansas, a little old high school, make it all the way to the University of Texas as a head coach, that's, that's a story. Hey, it's America, isn't it? <laughs> that's what we do. And we come from nowhere and sitting on top of the world. And wherever he's gone, Charlie still hasn't forgotten about Batesville. This is Cartier's new house. He still hasn't forgotten about the woman who helped raise him. He helped support her. Guys, back to you. Well, great piece there, Sock Kyle. One stat uh, that says something about the man Charlie Strong is 24 players suspended, dismissed, injured, gone for the season. When you're a first year head coach, that's a tough decision to make. And that says something about the man you know well. I, I love that, Sully. One thing that I, my time around uh, Charlie Strong at the Brawls Award, he's solid in more ways than one. Physically, he's built like a tank, but you can tell he's solid. His foundation is solid. His personality, he's honest, he's fair. He's the kind of guy you want running your program.